Hello YouTube, we're making chicken and dumplings in the Instant Pot today. We're going to start out with about three cups, I mean three quarts of water and one chicken breast that's been coarsely chopped. Drop it in the Instant Pot with a couple of tablespoons of some chicken bouillon, salt, pepper, go light on the salt because your bouillon has salt, onion powder, garlic powder, and I used about three tablespoons of some dehydrated onions. While that is cooking for 11 minutes on high pressure, we're going to start our dumplings. We're going to start with three cups of flour, half a stick of butter, which is about four tablespoons. You'll take your mixer and mix that up. When your, your flour looks like it's crumbly and you've got your butter incorporated in, to that you're going to add uh, about a teaspoon of salt. You can add black pepper if you want to. And then you're going to add two eggs and go ahead and start with a dash of milk. I'm not going to have an exact measurement on the milk. If you'll watch as I'm making the video you'll kind of get an idea of how you want the dumplings to be kind of stiff. Uh, you don't want them to be runny you want them to be stiff so they're easier to roll out. As you'll see we've got our eggs incorporated here and we're going to start adding a little more milk. We're just going to add it very slow. If you add it too fast you'll add too much and then you'll have to add more flour to even it out. Uh, in my dumplings today I also added a teaspoon of turmeric. Turmeric is real good for you so I added that in the broth a way to get you a natural anti-inflammatory. It's really good for you. It does have a little bit of a spice kick to it so it is it's not too hot it was just the right amount. So we're going to add a little bit more milk till you see the, the batter or the dough start coming together. See how it's clumping together here and is released from the side of the pan. If you'll let the, the paddle turn it another couple of minutes you'll see how it brings it all together and you want the dough to feel kind of hard. If it feels soft and sticky then it has too much water in it. You're going to have to add a little bit more flour in it and mix it a little more. We've got the chicken removed out of the instant pot now and we have put it on saute setting. I'm going to dump my dough out on the cutting board this is a board that I use only for rolling out dough. I don't cut, put any kind of meat or anything on it at all. I'm going to form a ball with my dough, cut it in half because this would be too much dough on the cutting board. I am using a pastry rolling pin. This is one of the easiest things that I've found to roll out any kind of pastry dough that you're using. You're going to roll it out until it's about a quarter of an inch thin just roll it out as flat as you can all over your cutting board. Use a very liberal amount of flour. That's important to use a lot of flour. You'll cut your dumplings in one inch strips and then I cut mine diagonally where they make kind of like diamonds but you can go crossways if you want with the others. What you do with your dumplings, they're going to probably double in size in the pot. So see, you'll see I'm adding more flour to the dumplings. This keeps them from sticking together when you've got them in your hand placing them in the pot. You're going to add them one at a time. If you add them all in one handful, they're going to be a big wad of dough in the pot. Add them to where you see the water boiling. When you get so many dumplings on the top of the pot that they're, there's no place to put them, just take a spoon and push them to the side. Once you get all your dumplings in, you're going to pressure the dumplings for six minutes and you're eating dumplings it's just that fast hope you enjoyed this recipe if you have any questions uh, put them down in the comments I do answer all questions I uh, also made cinnamon rolls today you can see them over to the left they were really good this is the pressured pepper and I'm out